Hi, I'm Yusuf. In our previous video, we talked about axis of CNC machines. In this video, we will talk about axis in cam operations to end uh, half axis, three axis, four axis, five axis, five axis positioning and five axis simultaneous. First, we will start with the basic. In this operation, we just cut the walls. We make a contour move. Uh, is it uh, two and five x or three axis? There is a very easy way to understand it. We just look at axis, uh, which moves and which don't. Look, only x and y axis move synchronously and z z is used for positioning that's used for uh, depth, depth cut so it's two and half axis machining we just don't uh, cut walls with two and half machining we can uh, we can make a conical move like this. In planar milling, this is not a well-known uh, operation. We make a depth move, and in every depth move, we make a one millimeter stock, for example. So after this, uh, we can have this uh, tool pad. But it is a two and half axis operation two because when we look at axis just x and y work synchronously and z is used for depth cut I will show another two and half half axis operation. It's a formed surface, uh, and we will make a rough milling and a finishing on it. Many people uh, think that it's a three axis operation, but it's a two and half axis because if we look at axis we can see that just two work synchronously look x and y moves and z moves in positioning it in depth in depth cuts as a roughing Z level finishing is two and half axis also. Look, Z just uh, is used for positioning and just X and Y is used synchronously. We can see it when contouring the uh, steep surfaces. Okay, what, so what is the three axis machining? I use the same form, same parts, and I make an, another strategy. I use a zigzag move, and it's the most common use in form machining it's just make a zigzag move in all the form okay how we figure out that it's a three axis move when you look at 
x, y, and z move, they work synchronous, <coughs> synchronously. So it's a three axis operation. Now we will look at four axis positioning. First, we will examine this part. This has a slot on one side and a hole in other side. We can machine it with three axis machine, uh, but uh, in it will last too long. Uh, to position it. So we use a rotary table for it. And uh, it gives position by the post. Let's look at the axis, how it works. We will go. Oh. We will go step by step. The A is zero, degree zero. Make the same mistake. We will step by step. We will look at the post. It grab the tool. And X, Y positioning, Z move. It cuts the slot. Then retracts. This part is important. It grabs the tool. The, dr the uh, drilling, dr drilling tool. Okay. You see a ninety code, so it will uh, revolve the, it will move the uh, axis. Okay. Did you see it? It moved the axis. And it will drill now. It will retract and it will finish the operation. Uh, after uh, after the end, the A comes to zero again. It is four axis positioning. Okay, four axis simultaneous. The most well-known operation is uh, machining a helix on a cylinder. We will not use step by step. Okay. A90. X and A always moving. In this point, you will say uh, Y and X isn't working. Uh, yes, they, are, they aren't working, especially Y, but it's a simultaneous 4 axis operation. Uh, for this 
your rotary table must uh, uh, is capable of this uh, move and uh, and your uh, how can I say panic hydrogen uh, control uh, must support this move uh, if you if you have a rotary table or a Fanuk Hydenine doesn't support this uh, move. Uh, it won't do it. Do it won't do this. It will uh, won't do this. Okay. Let's look at another four-axis simultaneous operation. This four-axis simultaneous operations doesn't only include uh, drawing uh, a helix, mentioning a helix. For example, in this in this uh, helix gear, we will machine uh, between the gears. We can't make a positioning uh, array milling, array milling. Uh, We should use uh, a simultaneous operation to have a good surface surface finish look uh, x y z and b axis work synchronously so it's a five axis simultaneous operation let's get to the other parts <coughs> five axis positioning uh, if you have a part like this uh, flat surfaces or holes you can use five axis positioning its other name is two uh, plus uh, pardon three plus two uh, in this part we will uh, machine this flat surface with a uh, big tool and we will uh, drill these holes by positioning them. Let's look at the simulation. The uh, tilt and rotary axis find the uh, right angle to cut it and tools cut the flat surface it make a retract move and have its second position just x and y is moving synchronously uh, and other three axes uh, are stable and now it will make the drilling operations it changes the tool the drilling tool and drills But uh, there is a very uh, big disadvantage uh, on this positioning move. For example, between these holes, these holes, we will do step by step machining. It drills it we will do this again we are drilling the hole it makes a retract move and it will change 
the angle uh, but it's a very dangerous move because when it doesn't make uh, make uh, a good retake move it will gauge the part okay in this angle changing so uh, the operator and cam programmer must know uh, the machine and tool length uh, to not to make this gauge uh, to avoid this in the posts uh, air, uh, in uh, in the finish of the operation there is a reference z move uh, but to avoid this we can use this but uh, for doing this you must have a five axis simultaneous machine what's the difference look we drill the first hole and we make the retract move in simultaneous move so it's not dangerous uh, we can predict the moves so it's better than uh, the other positioning hole making uh, but I will repeat it you must have a five axis simultaneous uh, machine to make this operation okay now we will end it with five axis simultaneous in these this kind of parts uh, when uh, when we can't make a positioning uh, finishing uh, because uh, because of bad surface finish uh, we should use a simultaneous operation to cut all the surfaces the tool moves from uh, top of the head and down to the neck uh, but when we do this uh, we must see that uh, it can gauge or crash to the uh, table this uh, spindle gauge to the table okay we can simulate it now It's positioning on X and Y and it's starting to cut. It moves B and C axis synchronously. X, Y, Z, B and C is working simultaneously. So it's a five axis simultaneous operation. But you must be so careful when using these operations because uh, you can crash, uh, you can have a dangerous crashes on these tables, on these machines. For example, when uh, when B comes to 90 uh, 180 degree there can be a crash and there will be also for example now it's crashing so you must have a, a long fixture or a long tool to avoid this That's all for now. Uh, I tried to explain the uh, cam axis on operations. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.